Hey everyone, I got a Master Lock Lockout Series. Uh, this lock was sent to me by J. Ruther 2. Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, and if you haven't already, check out his videos. He's got some really good stuff. Uh, there's the bidding. It's a uh, key retaining. I'll pick it using standard tension and a shallow flat hook. Uh, this lock's uh, give me quite the fight. Uh, still don't fully got it down. It's got spools in there. Yeah, I know that for sure. I don't know if it has anything else. Uh, I'd like to get it apart, but I think I'm gonna wait a wait a while on that. It actually took me longer to get this pick than it did the 1105. I don't know, it just kind of seems to pick funny. For me, anyways. Got a false set. This is where I usually overset a pin or two. It's hard for me to get my picks in there, and then the shallow one just doesn't push up on them enough. I just got one more pin. Yep, there we go. Picked open. Yep. For, uh, I don't know if these are plastic bodies, but you know, kind of for being a weak lock, uh, the cylinder puts up a heck of a fight. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the Master Lock Lockout Series. Sent to me by Jay Ruther 2. Alright, I just got done making a video on this uh, Master Lock Lockout. And uh, I have no clue what the hell I just did, but <laughs> I think I'll be taking it apart now because hear that? Yeah, that's um, the pins <clears throat> apparently floating around inside the body. Yeah, like I said, I have no freaking clue what I did. Uh, yeah, it, I, I'll just stick a pin in there, and it just tur it turns to the left, but doesn't turn to the right. Um, yeah, I'm kind of baffled by that. Uh, shit, I don't even know. Um, I'm gonna take it apart and see what the hell I did to it, but yeah <laughs> Oops, but anyways, that's the reason why you don't pick locks that are in use because shit like that happens. So yeah Just thought I'd let you yeah, guys know about that I don't know if anyone else has ever had that happen. Let me know. Peace